You don't want to hit a bucket? I'd rather watch. Suit yourself. This my wife says I'm nosy. I like to think of myself more as, as curious. So if I happen to cross some kind of imaginary line with you, just let me know. Sure. So my buddies said you could have conjugal visits on death row. I told him it was all BS, more like an urban legend. There are no conjugal visits. I knew it. You couldn't even touch another person, right? No touching. I just got to work on your psyche. You weren't supposed to anyway. What do you mean you weren't supposed to? Things were a lot different when I was first incarcerated. Certain element of guards were less supervised. So it uh, created an environment for things to occur. Things? What, what, uh, what kind of things? Encounters, I guess. Oh, not by chance. More like an initiation of sorts. Initiation? Yeah. Maybe it was when they first saw something akin to optimism on your face. Or a bit of peace. Or just that moment when you began to believe that you could survive it in some paradoxical way. I don't know why they did it. Justification's a slippery slope, Ted. So one morning, you go off for your weekly shower, and this group of inmates with particular compulsions suddenly appear. You understand at once why they're there, but there's nothing you can do about it. You can fight it some symbolic gesture to your manhood, but you can't stop it. So it happens. Repeatedly. So, but then it's over. Just as quickly as they appeared, they're gone. It's the strangest thing, Ted. There you are alone again. The water's still running. The guards reappear like they never left. Maybe they didn't. I don't know now. So you finish your shower and get dressed. Word gets back before you do. Decent guys on the road won't look at you now. They're too embarrassed for you. And then there are the ones who, when you pass by their cells, they look at you with a basis form of curiosity, Ted. Like you are some freak show, and they want to get all their money's worth because more than anything, they're aroused by another shame. You know? And there's a very special group on the road look at you with this look like how can i describe it for you ted so you can really understand it it's like they can pull you into their cell and not just do things to you but literally consume you take your breath eat your heart and shit you out like you are nothing <laughs> 